What's going on guys, Jimmy Mahalik here, and in this video we're gonna go over why it's very likely that we're going to see the United States have a complete second shutdown of this country again in the very near future. So first of all, just a few weeks ago, we had top US government officials saying that there will not be a second shutdown of America. And we even had President Donald Trump saying that the U.S. will not shut down again. But there's two problems with this. The first problem with this is that the White House and federal government officials are actually not in charge of shutting down the country. The decisions come from the state governors and sometimes the city governors, and the federal government and the White House just really doesn't have a say in it. They can say whatever they want, but the final decision does not come down to the White House. The second problem with this is the virus just continues to spread more and more. We've now had over 1 million new virus cases in just under 28 days with now over 3 million Americans now having had it. And as you can see in this chart, we've now had several days where we're actually over 50,000 people per day with new cases every single day. We actually almost reached 60,000 in one day. White House virus task member and one of the leading top experts in the United States, Dr. Fossey, recently said that we could see in the very near future up to 100,000 new cases every single day. And you might be thinking right now, well, that doesn't matter. We don't need to shut the country down. There's many states that aren't going to shut down at all. And here's the problem with that argument. We now have over six different states that are not only pausing their reopening, but now closing up. And they're some of the largest population states in the United States, California, Texas, Florida, Michigan. And we have 15 current states that have paused their reopening and have completely stopped reopening. 15 states and six states that are actually closing back up. That's 21 different states. That's about 40% of the United States that is already starting to reverse and close back up their states and cities. So if we already have 40% of the United States closing back up and the virus hitting new all-time day highs almost every single day, What's to prevent the virus from stopping besides a complete and total shutdown? If we don't shut down completely, this virus will just keep spreading and spreading and spreading until we get herd immunity, which is somewhere around 70 to 80 percent of Americans having caught this virus. The other argument would be, well, hey, Jimmy, what about a vaccine? That will surely help out our country. And yes, it would, but the problem with vaccines, especially when they're brand new and there's never been one out before for a specific virus, is that they take forever. The most likely case is we won't even have a vaccine until 2021, and some top experts say that it won't even happen until the second half of 2021. By then, the whole United States will have already pretty much either gotten this virus or the virus will have run its course by the time a vaccine comes out. The main problem with this virus, as opposed to like a flu, is that this virus spreads so easily. As you can see here from the official CDC government website, says that the virus is spread from person to person through respiratory droplets produced when a infected person coughs, sneezes, or even talks. The problem is, is if you've ever been out on a very cold day, you can see your breath. You can see your breath go out sometimes two or three feet in front of you on a very cold day. And all that includes the water droplets from your body, which includes the virus if you have it. And a mask will really help out with that. A mask will probably prevent 90% of it going out. It'll probably just stay in this general area. It'll go out a little bit through the mask, but it surely won't go out two to three feet. And unless we see mandatory mask wearing in the entire United States, 
then we'll just see the virus continue to spread and spread exponentially. And that brings up the next big question. Will we be required to wear masks throughout the entire United States? We're already seeing about half of the country require that you wear masks out in public in different varying degrees. And for example, I'm from Ohio. I know that entire Cuyahoga County, where Cleveland is, is now requiring you to wear masks in that county even though this map doesn't show that Ohio requires you to wear masks because it's just in one specific area. A lot of these states have specific counties where the governor or the mayor has actually made it mandatory to wear a mask. And the problem is, as the virus continues to spread, we'll probably see more and more of those areas make it mandatory that you wear a mask, whether you like it or not. So I got two questions for you. Do you think there's any way we can stop the spread of this virus without an, an entire and a complete shutdown of this country again for the second time? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. And the second question is, do you think that it will become mandatory in the entire United States that we will have to wear masks out in public? Again, we're already seeing about 50% of the country make those mandatory mask warnings. And do you think it takes away our freedom by making it mandatory to wear a mask? Some people would argue that like, you know, us wearing a seatbelt is mandatory in pretty much I think every state it doesn't take away your freedom. But the problem with wearing a mask is it literally covers half of your face. And that is a significant hindrance, you know, a lot more than wearing a seatbelt when you're inside a car. So let me know your thoughts down below. Also, if you can hit the like button for me, it really helps out my channel. And if you're not subscribed yet, click the subscribe button down below. I have new updates coming out about the second stimulus check and the next stimulus payment that is going to be sent out directly to Americans. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on that. And over here, I'll link the most recent second stimulus check video that you should watch next. And also on this channel, I teach people how to start their own business selling products on Amazon. I'll link a video over here that teaches you how to start doing that. I have students that have replaced their entire nine to five income by selling one product on Amazon. Thanks guys, and I will see you in the next video.